All right, you guys, welcome to part two. I'm gonna get more information about this dream. Okay, so the same people that went above and beyond to traumatize you in every way, they're going to somehow get the courage to uh, reach out to you when you're in your emperor energy. Okay, they're going to be experiencing some severe mental instability. Okay, and the illusions that they create in their mind about their connection to you, they only do it to make themselves feel safe. And um, they're going to try to come in offering friendship to you. You're going to be so well received and in a position of authority in whatever field it is that spirit has led you to be in. Because I feel like there's a lot of people um, who do a lot of different things. Light workers and star seeds have been called to disrupt the disharmony of a lot of pure things that have basically been used as uh, money, okay? Um, now, once again, I go back to, also what I'm picking up here is, people who are disgruntled by the changes you're bringing to your particular field or niche, if they have, you're, they're part of the, 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 you know, the the era where, the era where, um, the pure act was dirtied up, they're gonna try to act as if they're friends with you while putting out toxic subliminals so that you can doubt yourself. So this is where you're going to notice um, people will act as if, oh yeah, we're on the same team, but then they'll be basically trying to plant seeds. So you'll doubt yourself. Now, this is actually gonna backfire on them because I know personally for me, I have people in the tarot community. They're gonna start losing people because they're putting out put putting out these subliminal messages, and the people that normally see them as true and blue gonna be feeling conflicted. And um, if you play with tarot like that, tarot don't spare you. You know, when you play with tarot and you get dirty with it, a lot of people don't take into consideration that that shit catches up with you, you know. You could live, quote unquote, 59 blissful years and you could have been, you know, quote unquote, living a good life, you know, making money off of having people codependent on your readers instead of just giving them information so that they can learn how to do their own cards or whatever, things like that. And then right out the blue, it will seem, but it's not out the blue because karma sometimes, she just like to sit back and watch. How long you gonna keep up this toxic shit? I wanna see if you can actually be accountable and actually put an end to it yourself. And when karma, cause karma's fair, when she sees, okay, so you're not gonna put an end to this shit. I'm about to just rip the rug right from under you so that you will be compelled to stop this toxic cycle. And all of a sudden, after the experience of 59 years of glory and bliss, well, you getting uh, spiritually attacked left and right. Like, it's showing up in your physical, actual life and shit like that. So this is how a lot of people feel when you come around in your particular field. You know what I mean? Whatever it is, you could be the first uh, or the second or third female to uh, be playing baseball and be so good at it. It's like no longer are people criticizing you. They're really just like, oh my gosh, you should really 
put her on a team, but I feel like for some of you guys, and if this is specific to you being skilled at baseball, they don't want to put you on a team due to their insecurities. So the emperor car here is telling me that you might be changing the way teams are set up. You might be changing the way people uh, sign people to contracts. And this change is going to be very disgruntling for people who've been doing it a certain way for a, a amount of certain years. You might be one of the few people who, you know, you go contract free, but you have, so you can maintain your freedom, but you do play the game. And you are very much needed for the game, like Babe Ruth. You know? They couldn't deny how good he was at playing. So it was like, we'd rather have him on our team than to have him on another team, because I'm starting to pick up Babe Ruth. He was starting to get recruited by a whole lot of people. And uh, the team he uh, willingly chose to go on, the Spirit said, this is a team I want you to go on. And he was like, they still ain't all there. And Spirit was like, there's a plan for this. So something tells me that dream is picking up too, that whatever you guys are going through, this is all part of your journey. And you guys are going to basically be sharing this with the world. People are going to be like, you're my hero. That's what I'm picking up from this emperor energy. So a lot of people who are going to feel highly disgruntled, they're going to be um, doing a lot of passive, aggressive, low-key, dark magic on the low. Even though they're still getting the consequences of their actions, they have trained their bodies, minds, and their emotions to be passive, aggressive, Okay? So, you're going to notice some people trying to get close to you, trying to figure out how to break down your energetic boundaries so that they can transfer their energy to you. Karma swap. They want to swap their karma for your dharma. Okay? Now, with this empress and the king of diamonds... You're attracting a lot of wealthy, influential partners to you at this time. And just because you say no to one don't mean they're going to stop coming. They're going to keep coming. And a lot of people are going to be aware of this. So realize that if someone's trying to paint the narrative about you in a toxic light, it's only because their inner insecurities are being exposed. However... With this wise selection of high-level suitors, you're also going to be having um, discernment because you do understand that all that glitters ain't gold, okay? So you're drawing in actual gold. You're, draw, you're also drawing in someone that is uh, like a diamond, too. Just like you being under pressure, they've been under pressure. So you guys are going to be able to have this deep understanding, this below-the-surface connection, okay? And a lot of people um, in your particular field, if they're not tarot card readers, they, they saw some type of, type of way of understanding what you have coming to you because... You just ain't really been in doing what you've been doing for like as long as the pros should be doing it, some are saying. And you're just taking over. So it's like you now are the ambassador of whatever it is you're doing. And there's going to be some people who are highly offended by it. Now with this emperor car right here, whatever you say is going to change the way the whole scope of what it is you're doing is going to be looked at, okay? With this six of wands, clubs in reverse in yellow, there's going to be a lot of people trying to basically make you out to be a tyrant. They're going to try to make you out to be um, they're going to try to make you out to be like you don't have the integrity that you walk around with. They're going to try to make it seem like you rise 
to the ranks a little too quickly. So you must have been doing something. No, you're just anointed and chosen. Okay? For some of you guys, you are starting completely new um, niches. And this is where you're going to have people trying to jump on board and take credit for you. This is people who already have, you know, the support and they already have the years of experience, but they feel that they like what the new need, what the newness is. And this is how things get dirtied up. And they're going to basically drive themselves to their own death, trying to basically copy everything that you do in this niche. Let's say you opened up um, a shop where you sell weed and muffins, right? Um, because you're doing it, it's a whole, it's a great idea. If somebody else who didn't have the self-confidence that you have was doing it, they would be like, that's a stupid idea. But because you're doing it, they're going to be like, weed and muffins? I wouldn't have thought to put that together. And they'll overanalyze it and take the purity from it. They'll even send customers your way to um, who are actually spies just copying you. And what they'll try to do is copy the blueprint without making it seem like they're copying the, the blueprint. Okay? You might have some people open up cupcakes and weed. And you might be like, you know, you ain't in competition with yourself and nobody. You'd be like, okay, I'm happy for that person. I'm glad there's an expansion thing going on. But really, the person didn't want to be seen as, I copied your idea. And you might be getting inklings that this person has a secret competition with me. And I need to not take that energy on as my own to not become competitive with myself because I'm not gentle with myself. And because of this, you're going to naturally attract the clients that you want to attract. And what these people are going to attract is any and everybody. And because they're going to be getting a large amount of clientele with no discernment, because believe it or not, people who got into the industry that you got into, they wanted to work with a certain amount of people, but they didn't know how to do it. Then you came along and you showed them you can work with whoever it is you choose to work with. And the ways you went about doing it pretty much, you know, got rid of all the people that you didn't want to work with. And it's not because you didn't want to work with certain people, you know, from a place of um, discrimination. You just had a vision of quality. And if people wanted to experience your product in fullness, they had to be self-accountable and self-aware. So your product is so pure, people will literally do a cleanse, they will meditate, they will do a, they will do a, a sugar fast before they come see you. And this is how potent and influential you are and people who are, you know, in competition with you and themselves, they're trying to copy this energy, but they're not able to. So they're uh, acting like friends and things like that. And during this time, your intuition is going to be high peak. And they're really experiencing severe trauma because the reason that they did a lot of things is coming to the surface. And it's not that they can't, you know, love and enjoy what they're doing in that field. It's just in this age of Aquarius, it's time to be as 100% as possible. And if they choose not to be, well, they're going to experience severe grief. So they'll be acting like they're your friends on the surface. Like, oh my gosh, thank you. Whole time they'll be discrediting you behind closed doors. And when you hear from your family, they're going to be looking at how do you treat the family that hurt you? And this, how you treat the family that hurt you, how you treat the lover that hurt you, how you treat the lost friends, the friends that you let go who hurt you is really what's going to basically cement everything okay and that's it that's that someone needed to hear that